Welcome back to Thomas Turner Fishing Antiques. Um, today we have a couple of lovelies. We've mentioned uh, in previous videos the fiberglass rods, we've gone to the split cane rods, so we're going back further again to the green heart wooden rods of pre-turn of the century um, and older. We've got a couple of examples here of uh, green heart wood rods. Both are Farlow retailed, but only one of them is Farlow made. Um, the, the, the question what is what to do with a green heart rod. Because the wood ages and dates and physically dies, if we were to put this together and fish with it, probably what would happen is at some point there'd be a massive crack, there would be a linear split of the rod, creating virtually a spear and the rod scrap, which is a real shame for something that may be 200 year old that we're going to break. So you can use them, you probably wouldn't use them, but as display pieces, museum pieces, talking pieces, then they've got it all. This first one here is a Farlow 191 strand. This is a three piece, 18 foot green heart salmon rod. Already just holding this section, this weighs pounds. So putting this together, I can imagine if you try some sort of ferocity and cast with it, you'll end up in the river alongside it. Really, really heavy, beautifully made. They're turned on a lathe. It doesn't come this way, obviously. They're all machine turned on lathe, very labor intensive to make, very accurate on the tapers. And very often, if you lose a tip section for one rod, you can fit the tip section for another rod. That shows you the accuracy of the machining in those early days. That's not something that generally happens now um, on the split cane rods. So this is a follow. This is particularly interesting because if you look at the detail on the handle fittings here on the rod rings, these are all uh, beautifully turned. This is in German silver, which is an upgrade from the brass. So somebody would have asked for this to be made, perhaps as a presentation, perhaps as a gift. I don't know, but it looks fabulous. And if we pair it up with this follows nickel silver reel, which is really expensive and rare, that makes a fantastic kit to hang on any wall. You wouldn't want to use it, but you would want to talk about it. Follows sold not only their old tackle, their own tackle, but they sold tackle under their brand made by other makers. Um, here we have one such example. This here with a detachable butt section and two very powerful stout tips is a big game rod. Now this was designed by Vom Hoff of America. Farlows took on the design and you can see these twin tulip rings. So the rod could be fished up or down ring and when it bent after a period in time being fished and the rod retained a permanent curve, you turn it the other way around and fish it and you basically straighten the rod. Dead simple idea, it worked. It makes quite a unique looking rod for display. And they were available from many companies, especially down the uh, Eastern Seaboard um, for big game fishing. So this is one that Paul has done some research on and he's come up with a catalog here. The 75th edition follows catalog. This is a facsimile, of course. And it says on here that the Edward Vom Hoff one piece independent butt tarpon and tuna rods, they are double guided with a tulip end ring. And if we look at the end ring here, which is a bit of a thing, how fabulous is that? It's ventilated for the line to come out, top and bottom again. So even when the rod twists and turns and ends up curved in one particular direction, you simply thread it, re thread it through and straighten the rod. This is in super condition. These are rare to find. The issue with some of the green heart rods is because you don't use them and because they are display only, it kind of holds the price down. So therefore you get an awful lot of collectible, valuable antique fishing tackle for very little money. They're on the website now. You check these out along with many other green hearts that we have. We're keen to buy good quality green heart rods in that are in good original condition. Again, you can part exchange any of your tackle that you no longer need against any of our products. Usual uh, rules apply, go to the website, log on, put the details in and send us some good clear images um, of what you have and see if we can put you into something that you're going to love for a period longer. So green heart rods, great value, great decorative items. Wouldn't want to fish one all day. Catch you later. Mm -hmm.